Hey everyone, in Lumios, how's it going? It is Crusader Down back at you with another Crusader blessed build. Um, so my last one got a lot of views, um, which thank you everyone for viewing and commenting. Um, I realise I made a few mistakes on that video, so this is the new one, so, yeah. Um, right, so, S weapons and gear. They just came out, well, not just, but, um, and you can also earn Ascendant weapons. So, I'm going to show you the new way to be a crusader so i haven't got the s weapon but i have got the a weapon the double edge legion sword um i recommend going for this um then trying for a s weapon so go for this Shield of the Forgotten Knights. Yeah. Just shield. Helmet. You want Unsung Heroes or the SHP helmet. Um, but I would recommend this. Not the HP for PvE. Um, I would recommend the HP for PvP, survivability. Chest, Old Empire body armour. Um, there's no S body armour as far as I'm aware. But if there is, I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments, and I thank you for that. Next, you want Unsung Heroes Leg Armor. Mine is damaged because I'm trying to upgrade my gear as much as possible, but it keeps fucking up. Next, you want Blue Dawn Blue 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 Dawn Boots. <laughs> um, crit rate. Um. Try and get the highest roll, if you can, or Unsung Heroes Boots are good, uh, they give you attack power, um, but I would recommend these more than the Unsung Hero Boots. This, ignore it. Like, yes, you need it, but S is more important. <clears throat> Excuse me. The S gloves attack power are more important than these A gloves. So, if you can get your hands on an A Centurion gauntlets, take them for now then try and buy or grind for a S gauntlets. Shoulders, mine are fucking damaged as usual. Um, the only S shoulders you can get is fishing, which is fucking retarded. So uh, get yourself a pair of these, a nice pair then you're all sorted. I did, however, manage to get one S gear, and that's this. The S crit damage belt. Um, it's not the highest roll. Um, I'm still in the market looking for a nice roll with a white and colour colourful ruin. So, if you can get one of these with a high roll absolutely recommended so go for that 
necklace, you want necklace of the corrupted. Um, obviously I'm missing one white ruin in my build, that's why I need the colourful ruin and the white ruin on the belt and a colourful and a white on the gloves if I can get that. So that will be sweet. Also, if I get the S weapon, I want a white and colour full ruin. That's what I'm aiming for. So, get yourself the Necklace of the Corrupted. Rings. Now. Yes, mine is completely fucked up. Because I'm having to change my build um, to fit the Ring of the Plague. Um, I finally got it thanks to one of my good friends, who will not be named, but you know who you are. Thank you so much, buddy. Um, so, use this ring, or if you don't have it yet, I recommend this ring, Desert Song. Uh, just nine whites for 27 crit, same as this, but I recommend this ring, because you get health back on damage. So with Crusader, you want the crit build, but it's a crit regeneration build. So if you have Zealot's Fire and Guard, which now heals you, um, you're sorted. Um, you need Righteous Vigor, definitely recommended and needed. Um, the Blessing. There's three ways you can do this. You can either go full DPS, Lionheart's Legacy. You can provide defense for your team uh, with Blind Executioner. And the best one I've heard right now is Centurion's Command for Crusader. Uh, I still need to get mine um, to tell you how I feel about it, but from what I've heard from a fellow Crusader main who's level 41 or 42, um, it is one of the top blessings for Crusader because it's a pure regeneration blessing build. Um, you get Dauntless Charge with damage, you also get a shield, and Healing Shields restores 7% of your maximum HP when the Protective Shield ends. Um, twin Slash, you get damage, you also get bleeding, and hitting at least one enemy with Twin Slash restores 1% of your max HP. And Resolute War Cry, man this thing is OP. So you get a 10% defense buff for yourself. Not only that, you get an additional 10, 20, 30, 40. So basically 50% defense. And with all that, healing, healing Shout restores 10% of your max HP when Resolute Warcry ends. Whereas Executioner restores 2.5% which ain't that much. Um, carve a path. Defense of fighting. Recover 20% of your guard gauge each time carve a path hits an enemy. Then impenetrable. Carve a path applies <coughs> the guard effect for its duration. I don't know what that means, but I just know to go for this blessing, um, 
it is 300k seeds, but they did say they made it a lot easier to earn for players. So, my advice, go for it. Um, right now I'm trying to fix my build, so then I can go for it myself. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much, that's pretty much the build, guys. Um, you just want a, the, the same old attack power crit damage build for PvE. Um, and you're slapping regen a regen build on top of it, so Plague Ring and Sense Command on top of it. So, I thoroughly recommend you go for that. Um, but before I end the video, uh, there's not one here. Okay. Well, fuck. Um, some guy was asking about my uh, outfit, because I look cool. I look like a, a real crusader. Um, if if you guys want that video, like a, a crusader outfit design video, then please feel free to let me know in the comment section below and I will try my best to do that for you. So anyway ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages, thank you for watching. I really hope this helped you. If you have any more questions please, please, please do not hesitate. Go in the comments Ask me a question about, it could be about the game, the build, you know, just any question about the game, the build, um, what outfit I'm wearing, and what have you. So, anyway, thank you guys again, <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you in Lumios. Take care everyone.